Hi guys, Miss Rocky is back today with another math mini lesson taught to you from my RV, Gotta Love Technology Today. Let's me teach you no matter where I am. Today we are going to be talking about number pairs. Number pairs, very basically, um, can also be called number bonds, and they are just two numbers that are added together to make another number. So four and one make five, four and one are a number bond. Thirteen and six are nine make 19, 13 and 6 are a number bond. 41 plus 11 is 52. 41 and 11 are a number bond that form 52. 67 plus 4 is 71. 67 and 4 are a number bond, a number pair. Whatever you want to call it, there's something that you can put together. And if you remember that those two things go together, you can always know the answer. Okay? So when we use number pairs, two multiples of 10 to 10, 100, 1,000, it makes adding so much easier because these are things we can memorize and use over and over. So our number pairs to 10, you should probably already know these. 0 plus 10 is 10. 1 and 9 is 10. 2 and 8 are 10. 3 and 7 is 10. 4 and 6 is 10. 5 and 5 is 10. Number bonds to 100. Wait, Miss Rocky. Wait, you only went to 5. Well, I only had to go to 5. Because if you remember right, within addition, you can always go backwards. So let me grab my little pen down here. I just learned that I had this. It's kind of cool. All right, so when I get to 5, 5 plus 5, I'm just going to go backwards. So now I'm at 6 and 4. It's the same as 4 and 6. It's 10. 7 and 3. It's the same as 3 and 7. It's 10. 8 and 2. Same as 2 and 8. 9 and 1, same as 1 and 9, 10 and 0, same as 0 and 10. So even though I only have five number pairs, it covers all of my numbers. Okay? You can take those same number pairs and let's now make number pairs to 100. If 0 and 10 are 10, then 0 and 100 are 100. If 1 and 9 are 10, 10 and 90, 100. Because remember, we're looking, we're looking at the 1, and 9, make 10, there's nothing over here, so you just add a 0, okay? So 10 and 90 is 100, 20 and 80 is 100, 30 and 70, 40 and 60, and of course 50 and 50. And I don't have to go to 60 because I've already got it here, right? 60 and 40 is the same as 40 and 60, all right? So you get the kind of basics of number pairs is just finding those ones to 10. If you can memorize those, it makes the rest of your addition problems so much easier. All right, let's go on to the next page. Number pairs work with big numbers. It's not just 1 to 10, guys. We can make number pairs to 1,000. 0 plus 1,000, 100 plus 900, 200 plus 800, 300 plus 700, 400 plus 600, 500 plus 500. Same, we're looking at that same bit. One and nine. They always make 10, no matter how many zeros you put on. And the same thing can go for 10,000, 0 and 10,000, 1,000 and 9,000, 2,000 and 8,000, 3,000 and 7,000, 4,000 and 6,000, 5,000 and 5,000. We could go all the way up to millions, guys, and it wouldn't matter. If these are all zeros, then you're looking right here, one and nine, and it works together to make 10. You've now got 10,000. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, you ready? The other thing that number pairs do is that they can help us to solve subtraction problems. So if I have the subtraction problem 100 minus 45 equals blah, blah, blah. If you haven't watched one of these before, blah, blah, blah is my universal term for I don't know that number. So it's that blank there. 100 minus 45 equals blah, blah, blah. Well, we can line it up, we can carry, we can do all that. It's kind of a pain in the neck. Or we can flip it around. Because of fact families, we know that 100 minus 45 equals blah, blah, blah is also 45 plus blah, blah, blah equals 100. Okay? So now I'm going, okay, 45 plus something equals 100. And I know that I've got a 5 here and a 0 here, which means that that had to equal 10. So 5 plus something in that one's place here has to equal 10. Not sure what yet, okay? Well, 5 and 5. 5 and 5 is 10, right? That's, that's my number pair. Okay, so I need a 5 up there. 
All right, and then oh, something to 100. So something plus this 10, this 4 and something else. There's my arrows. The 4 and something over here has to equal something here. Well, if I already have 10, I only have 90 left, right? Um, so 90 plus 10 is 100. All right, so 5 plus what got me 5? That was 5. And 4 plus what is going to get me 90? That's another 5. So I've got 55. Be really careful because you have to remember that this 5 and 5 have already given you a 10. I'll, I'll see lots of kids that will somehow want to add in an additional 10, or they'll want to subtract, especially if you're looking at up here. They'll go, okay, 10 minus 4 is 6, and 10 and 5 is 5. But that doesn't work, okay? It can't work because of the fact that you have, this is already a 10. So then you have to do, oh, that's right, this isn't any more a 10, that's a 9. So that's why the easier way to do it, rather than have to do all of that subtraction piece, is simply to go ahead and add it. Can you add up? Okay, 45 plus 5, now I'm at 50. Add another 50, and now I'm at 100. All right, so this is a really common way to use number pairs, and I will be doing a complete mini lesson on it in the near future, so keep an eye out for it. But you will have an entire mini lesson on how to use addition to solve subtraction, and number pairs play a big part of that. All right, guys, it's time for our mind-blown moment. Number pairs, we keep talking about them, and they can be used especially, you know, if we're counting to 10. 4 and 6 makes 10. But you can use them pretty much in any addition problem that you're going to use. Okay? So our first addition problem is 42 and 58. And I, the first thing I do, I look there and go, oh, boom, 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 boom. I've got a 2. Where's my little thumb? I've got a 2. I've got an 8. 2 and 8 make 10. Yes! All right. Now I just have to look at the 5 and the 4. They don't make a 10. But that's all right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 and 4 make 9, so 50 and 40 make 90. Put them together, and I've got 100. I used number pairs. Number pairs don't have to be used for every single number in the equation in order to help you. All right, next problem here. We've got 67 plus 48. Can I use number pairs? Well, 7 and 8 don't, but 6 and 4 certainly do. And I can start there. 6 and 4 make 10, so 60 and 40 make 100. Done. Now, 7 and 8, uh, that's a little bit more difficult. Well, I can do so 8 is 1 more than 7, so double 7 is 14, plus that extra 1 is 15. Okay, so I've got 100 plus 15, 115. I use number pairs, okay? I can use number pairs in lots of problems with really, really big numbers because it is just a way to help your brain think about numbers. Mind blown yet? Not as impressive as some of my mind-blown moments, I know, but it really does take some mind-blowing to think of things a little bit bigger than just, oh, okay, I can use number pairs for 6 plus 4. So take that time when you're looking at addition problems to look at it and go, ooh, are there any numbers pairs here? Can I use my number pairs? All right. Time for our reference sheet. Go ahead and take it, glue it into your notebook, hole punch it, however you're doing your particular notebook. This number sheet gives you all of those basic number pairs that we just did. Right, 0 and 10, 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. It gives you the bigger ones for 100. 0 to 100, 10 and 90, 20 and 80, 30 and 70, 40 and 60, 50 and 50. I shouldn't have to give you the ones for 1,000 or 10,000 because it's just adding on zeros. But what we do have on this particular sheet down at the bottom is a fill-in section. It's interactive. That's the part of our interactive math notebook, right? We get to, to add on to it. So what other number combinations do we have that make 100? It has to be 100. Now, I can't go ahead and do 50 and 50 again, right? I can't do 60 and 40 again. I've already got that. What can I do? Take a moment right now before I do anything else and think for yourself if you can make at least one of those number pairs. Think. Think about it. If you know them, write them gently in pencil on the bottom. Okay. Now I hope you took some time to think about it. 
we're going to actually fill something together. I'm going to give you three number pairs. That does not mean that my three number pairs are the only number combinations that make 100. There are a lot. There's about 49, 50. I would say 100, but you got to remember that they go backwards, right? So 49 different combinations that will make 100. But here are the ones that I came up with. I started with 20, and I went, okay, well, I know up here, right, 2 and 8 makes 10, so 20 and 80 make 100. I went to 75, very common, 3 quarters if you're in America. 75% uh, is the same as 3 fourths anywhere else, so it, it works, right? So 75, I went, all right, I've got a 5. 5 and 5 make 10. So then I, this has to be an 8, really. So I've got 8 and 2, so 75 and 25. Okay, that makes my 100. Next one, 61. Ooh. All right, well, I've got 1 and 9, so I've got a 9 over here. But then that makes 10, so this is really a 7, right? This is really a 7, because I've already got my 10. So now I'm looking at a 3, 39. 1 and 9. I've got an extra 10, so I really need a 9 pair here, 6 and 3. Perfect. All right. You can definitely have different number combinations than that on your sheet, and it's fine. Um, just make sure that you take some time, and if yours aren't mine, check them with an adult. Make sure. Or draw yourself a picture. Make sure. Use a calculator. Make sure. Just don't write down number pairs and not be 100% sure, because then when you come back to use this as a reference sheet, you don't want misinformation. Spot check time. We're going to check. Did you get it? Did you not? Please take the time to actually do these problems because otherwise I'm just giving you the answers and that doesn't really help anybody. All right, first one is an easy one. What plus 3 is 10? Did you come up with it? It's one of our base ones. 7 plus 3 is 10. If you haven't yet memorized those basic number pairs. You need to get those down. Tell them to yourself over and over and over. Write them over and over. It's just a few number pairs and you really need to know those ones because they will help you answer problems like this. What plus 24 is 100? Did you work it out? If you didn't, pause right now. Work it out before I give the answer. All right, let me think here. I've got 4 and a 10. So 4 plus what is 10? That's a 6. That makes this a 3, right? We don't want to be working with a 2 anymore because otherwise we're going to be too high. So I've got a 6 here, 3 as a 7, so 76 is my answer. All right, you ready for the next one? Be sure to take the time to work it out. 81 plus what is 100? Don't get scared by that blah, blah, blah in the middle. It's all right. It's the same thing as if it was on the other side. Okay, take some time and answer it. Pause it if you have to. All right, I'm back. You ready? All right, what do we have here? We've got, I hope you took the time to work this out. We've got one and something that makes a zero. Well, that's a nine, right? Okay, so we've got a nine, but because I've, I've already made a combination, that means that I'm really working with a nine here, right? So nine and, well, nine and one. So, because one and nine and nine and one are the same, right? So I've got one and nine. I've got nine and one, so I should have 19. Easy peasy. All right, I hope that spot check helped you because it's reflection time. Take a second, put that reflection in your notebook, and we'll take a look at what we have today. Today we are going to choose one of the following ways to reflect on number pairs. First, you can write a paragraph. Remember, a paragraph has at least five sentences, complete sentences, capitals, periods. It's important in math, just like in writing. Use that paragraph to explain how to find the missing number of a pair to 100. So, for example, if you already have 45, how do you find out how much more to 100? That's what we've been doing this whole lesson. Okay, letter B, create a list of 10 number pairs that make 100 that are not already on your reference sheet. Don't cheat. Come up with new ones. 
Letter C, create a list of number pairs that go to a thousand. None of those are on your reference sheet, but you can use your reference sheet to guide you up. Letter D, show three different number pairs using number lines. Draw a number line. Put zero on one side, a hundred on the other side. Color in the two number pairs. They should meet. If they're not meeting, they're not a number pair. Uh, letter E, create a T-chart that compares number pairs that make a hundred and number pairs that don't make a hundred. So a T-chart on one side, list out those number pairs that make a hundred. On the other side, list out some number pairs that don't make a hundred. Remember, after you're done with whatever option you've chosen, you need to take time to reflect on your reflection. Make sure that your reflection shows thinking about this week's concept. Make sure that it follows all of the guidelines that we have set out for you. Make sure that it will help you with your thinking at a later date. Interactive math notebook, guys. You have to be able to come back and interact with it. Otherwise, it's not helpful to you. Okay, This is your reference tool. Build your learning and come back and check on your learning. So make sure that whatever you're doing today will help you when you come back to check in on your learning. All right, I'm going to let you go do your reflection now. Thanks for watching. Please come back and watch some more. We've got more math mini lessons taught always from my RV because that's where I am, but it can get you wherever you are. Um, just follow our YouTube channel to find more. You can also follow the blog, Rocky's Red Resources, and for all of the resources shown in today's lessons, that's right down in the description, right underneath the video where you're watching it. Have a great day, guys.